I'm Kat. I'm Iz. And, and we're, we're the, the She Sisters. Sisters. Today we have Dr. Sam here. We are at Fix Body Group. We're going to be breaking down mobility into some daily habits. I think we're all in consensus that the golf swing is very similarly aligned to everyday life. So whether or not you're trying to improve mobility in your golf swing or just in your everyday practices, we think that this can help you. All right, so if you have pain in your neck or you feel really sore in the neck, we need to get more mobility. We're gonna go through a couple exercises just to increase the mobility in the neck. So we're gonna go through the three normal ranges of motion. Just face me. We're gonna start by bringing your chin straight down to your chest and then take your head all the way back. So just want you to repeat this motion until it feels normal. So go down, go back. What I mean by feel it's normal is it feels like she can do this. It's not tension when she's going back, not tension when you're going forward. So once we finish this one, I'm just going forward and back. I'm gonna have you look. I feel a little dumb way. So if you're still getting a stretch through uh -huh. here, we're just gonna keep repeating the motion. Oh. So, so that'll eventually stretch out. Yep. If she's still not getting that to release, because most people when we first wake up in the morning, that's gonna feel like a little stiff, a little tight. You can use something like this to resolve it. If we're still getting some tension there, that's when we'll go into the more of the static stretches. Mm -hmm. So the next one, after we do this, I'm gonna have you take your head and look as far as you can to one side, and then look as far as you can to the other. And we're just trying to look over the shoulder on each side. So same thing, she's gonna repeat this motion, trying to increase the mobility in the neck. Good, and then the last one that we're gonna do is take your right ear and drop down to your right shoulder, and then your left ear and drop to your left shoulder. So we're creating a stretch on that opposite side each time that she drops over. So combine all three of these just to start to get some mobility in the neck. The next one we're gonna do is to increase the mobility in your back. So I want you to get shoulder width apart. We're gonna get soft in your knees and bend down a little bit. Bring your arms up like this and clasp them together. Now, we're gonna swing your arms side to side. So keep your head straight forward towards me. Good, looking straight ahead. Just gonna let the momentum carry you side to side. So stay soft through your hips and your knees, but focus on getting the mobility through you. Good, so she's gonna let the momentum carry her to create a little more rotation. And her feet will stay planted? Yep, we're gonna keep the feet planted. She's soft in her knees and her hips so that they move. And you keep your head going straight forward. She's just working on that mobility through the mid-back. So now that we just got this part of the back moving, we're gonna focus more on getting this area. So we've just got this moving here. Now we wanna bring this down a little further. Cross your arms up on your shoulders just like this. And now, Individually, we're gonna push the right hip forward, keeping your feet planted, and then left hip forward. So keeping my shoulders and my hip and my feet where they are, just driving one hip forward, other hip forward. Good. So stand stationary here. Good. Perfect. So keep going. Good. So now. For a lot of people, this is kind of a good diagnostic tool. You can see this hip really goes back nice and easy. That hip goes a little bit less, but she's pretty close on both sides. Some people are gonna notice a big difference. Maybe one hip doesn't go forward so easy, doesn't go back. This is gonna clue you in on where to stretch, what muscles that we need to release so that she can create this mobility. This is also great for increasing this mobility in your low back. Now that this part's moving, we're gonna miss moving as well. So think about in that golf swing, we're really trying to maximize that rotation at every segment. We don't wanna just generate it here, or just generate it here, but we really need to incorporate the whole thing together. This is great, another way to increase this mobility. I like to do this one second after we've done that standing stretch. So I want you to take your right arm, we're gonna reach through the circle that I created here. And now I want you to come out, keeping your hips flat and your hand down, and reach up towards the sky. Try to create a straight line from your hand, elbow, shoulder, shoulder, elbow. Bring that back, trying to create a straight line, and turn your head even to look up towards the sky. So we're really getting that rotation all the way down through the spine. 
back. And reach again. Okay, so she can repeat this about 10 times on each side to create that mobility. So from this position, we bring the legs up. I'm going to bring the arm over. As we draw the legs down, we're going to reach the so the first time, we're just going to do this kind of like a flow, just yeah. for mobility. So we're going to reach. Now go the other way. Drop, drop. Reach. Back. So we're going to do a couple. Yeah. Just going through, like getting right. mobile, right? Yeah. So now on this next one, when we come over, reach through, kind of use this arm to push and create a little more. Oh, and now we can drop the body a little further. Good. And now we're back. So you're going to use that as a bit of like a flow to get started, yeah. but work into more of a stretch. So you could do maybe 10 on each side, but that ends by hanging out in that position where you're really going to not lengthening in yeah. the spot. So again, we can make this specific to you. Mm -hmm. If that low back is really difficult, like we said before with you, like mobility is. So this is really good for hips or both? Or for really opening up both. Um, I love oh. it for golf because it opens up like everything together, right? Right. So in our swing, we have to have the mobility in the hips, in the low back, in the mid back. So this is lower back and hips. Yeah, low I mean, back, hips, mid back. It's really helping in a lot of different areas. Yeah. Again, when you're doing these stretches, especially if you're using these like daily for your mobility, mm -hmm. it's important to use it as kind of a diagnostic. So if you're doing this stretch and maybe it's bothering your hip just a little bit, yeah. then we can do a more specific stretch stretch for that hip. Instead of you going to the golf course today, it's not having to be any better, and then playing through it today, mm -hmm. it's kind of getting worse, worse, worse. Yeah. So it's great to use as like a diagnostic, mm -hmm. just the mobility, but then if it was really tight in your low yeah. back, once you're warmed up, you can go into that static stretch. Oh, okay. okay. I feel it. Like Our quad is four muscles. What is the quad? But in the very center, yep. So there's four muscles here, but there's two that are on top of each other, mm -hmm. just like this. So when you do the stretch and actually have the foot back, you get those to slide over each other. These so, muscles. yep. Now that we're in this position, I want you to tuck your pelvis underneath. Good. And now we're just gonna go forward. Oh, I actually feel it. Oh my goodness. So keep it tucked. The tuck. Come forward. Now we're gonna hold in that forward position for 20 seconds. So this is lengthening the musculature, but also getting those two muscles to slide over each other. Mm -hmm. So if you're at your house and you want to reproduce this stretch, this is called the couch stretch because you can take couch cushion mm -hmm. off, put it on the floor for your knee, <laughs> Perfect. and put your foot up. Love it. Uh, but any type of pad or support on the knee. So once she's done the 20 second, you can do more of like what you're doing now, kind of going to the mobility, yeah. like testing as far as you can go, maybe right. pushing into it a little bit for a few seconds, and kind of backing off. Um, when we're stretching, we want to get kind of mobile first, mm -hmm. like make sure you're warmed up, and we can move, and then we can get into our more like mm -hmm. static stretching, those longer holes. So, yeah. so even though um, what we're going through is more like mobile, mm -hmm. with the longer stretches, we want to make sure we prioritize those at the end. So the muscles on the inside of the leg plus your hamstring. Uh -huh. So if you have knee problems, we really want to reduce the tension in all of the musculature above and below the knee. Mm -hmm. So a really easy one here is using the support. I can put my leg out mm -hmm. and now I'm going to turn my body and reach towards the leg. It's going to create a really big stretch on the inside as well as on the Let's try that one. That's you could probably so, go higher for yourself. Uh -huh. But so, now with your right arm, we're gonna reach towards the opposite side of your foot. Yeah. So we should get a big stretch on the inside of the leg as well as on your hamstring, so the musculature on the back. While we're in this position, we can make this stretch really effective for releasing the side of the body as well. So if we come out. Instead of reaching across, we square up our shoulders, take our arm up, and create a big arch. Now we can really lengthen through this area while we still get the big stretch there. Mm, it's over. So if you really struggle with rotation, yeah. both of these are great stretches because we're really taking that side off, and then when we're turning, mm -hmm. really opening up that low back area. Would it make sense to look up and do it or keep 
I would probably keep my head neutral on this one, um, but it's not gonna hurt. And don't forget to do like both sides, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay. And sit back. So if you don't have good ankle mobility, mm -hmm. this is a great position to work on getting into. If this bothers your knees and it's hard to get back, mm -hmm. I'm gonna have you take your hand and put it behind your knee so your thumb is on the outside. So just like this. So that'll create just a little bit more space, and that shouldn't bother the knee so much if it feels like this is too much tension. Mm -hmm. Step, and then just let the heel hang off. Yeah. So okay. now I'm using my body weight to really stretch out yeah. that calf. Muscle. So this is a calf stretch? Yep. All right, folks, that's a wrap. We hope you enjoyed our visit with Dr. Sam and everything that he taught us. Again, mobility is so important because you can apply in everyday life. You don't have to be at a golf course. We could just be waking up and you know going to the office. So go ahead and subscribe to their channel. We're gonna link it right over here. And if you're looking for us in person, you can find us in Mission Valley or Rancho Bernardo, San Diego, or in sunny Scottsdale, Arizona. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so, so you don't miss a video. video. We'll see you next time. Bye! We're going to be late. I get the wine and the corkscrew. You don't have to do video. one single thing. You don't know how much I want you. Just looking at you.